question goes how to do ghusl. What are the sunnah during ghusl? Questions that need elaboration and uh, a description. You may find the answer detailed for such questions in islamqna.com. Nevertheless, we've answered this question a number of times and here we go again, inshallah, and try to make it as short as and brief as possible. There are two ways of doing ghusl. One is the sunnah way and the other is the way that does not comply with the sunnah but it suffices, it does the job. So what is the one that does your job? It's very simple. It is the one that you water your whole body, you wash your whole body, and you turn the water in your mouth, and you sniff water up your nostrils and take it out. If you do this, you have performed ghusl. So if someone is at the seashore, and he intends to make ghusl, he jumps into the sea, and he turns water in his mouth and he sniffs uh, uh, water up his nostrils in his nose and he goes out, he's performed ghusl. The sunnah way is to first of all wash your hands, then wash your private parts, then wash your hands again, then perform wudu, then pour three scoops of water over your hair and washing your hair, then pour water over your right side of your body, then left side of your body, then your feet. And that is the sunnah way of performing ghusl. Now, the ruling on sniffing the water and turning it into your mouth is an issue of dispute whether it is sunnah or mandatory. The most authentic opinion is that it is mandatory for us to do. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows 